Hello and welcome back to Digital Asset Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in your corner of the world. I have an interesting video for you today. I want to share a thought. Since we are making history, we are the pioneers, we are the contrarian investors in this new financial world. Here's going to be the beginning of my thought. Breaking news is Bitcoin miners in China's Yunnan province cut off from electricity supply. Also in Venezuela, they cut the electricity for Bitcoin miners. So as we were mentioning yesterday, Bitcoin is going to continue having challenges for whatever reasons these may be legitimately. The issue with Bitcoin is it takes a lot of consumption of energy. And the green assets, for example, XRP and Stellar. If you're new, I'm just going to give you a little highlight. BIGG Digital Assets Inc. subsidiary Blockchain Intelligence Group launches Ripple XRP and Stellar XLM on the BitRank Verified Risk Scoring Service. That's a pretty big deal. But let's just dive in to explain really quick, and then the point will start becoming more and more clear. Especially if you are new, we are making history. So continue that thought throughout this video. XRP is a digital asset built for payments. It's designed for payments. It is the native digital asset on the XRPL, the XRP ledger, which is an open source, permissionless, and decentralized blockchain tech that can settle transactions in three to five seconds. XRP can be sent directly without needing a central intermediary, making it a convenient instrument in bridging two different currencies quickly and efficiently. Stellar makes it possible to create, send, and trade digital representations of all forms of money, dollars, pesos, bitcoin, pretty much anything. And it's designed so all the world's financial systems can work together on a single network. So you can see these two by design are all about payments, currency, um, transferring to currency, and quick, fast, safe, and secure payments in three to five seconds. Ripple. XRP remittance markets are expanding to several new corridors, creating high demand. All right, they're creating these demands and they're expanding into these new corridors. And again, banking is their major focus, yes. But what if we could help speed this up? And what I'm getting to next is, for example, Pundi X has an XPOS, a point of sale for blockchain. It's the world's first blockchain point of sale device except in sell bitcoin ethereum dai and other crypto instantly what if they had for example ripple stellar xrp is the community favorite what if we could help them to come you know push onto the point of sale if you're going shopping retail i know we focus on banks we focus on wallets for paying each other for paying bills etc but now if you're going shopping, you're going to have to have that point of sale. The XPOS has the world's first blockchain point of sale device. It's missing, for example, Ripple and Stellar or XRP XLM from that thing. What if we can share this video, push this and promote this to example, to Jed, to Danelle, to Brad Garlinghouse, to David Schwartz, AKA Joel Katz. What if we can get this around them and let them see that this could actually help them too as well as many people hold these two as their top favorite assets. Now what if you could actually use them? I know it's a little early and a lot of people first thought it's going to be, wow, why would I do it now? But still there are going to be a lot of people holding these assets that could actually spend them and use them directly at a retail place. Suppose you want to go to North Carolina and you want to buy a cigar. Suppose you want to go down to Africa and you want to pay for clothing down there. They are already connected, for example, in those two locations. You can already do that. A lot of people, again, favorite assets tend to be Ripple and Stellar. 
and they're designed for payments. Why not get them into the retail side? A retail store owner, he's going to legally, he has to have the price receipt on something that he's selling. He needs to now show the receipt to the government that he sold that. The X point of sale is the world's first blockchain point of sale device. If our new currency is going into the blockchain, I don't think it's going to eliminate cash for now. I think it's going to, you know, emphasize that they can work both side by side together to make each other more efficient. Maybe the end game obviously is to be cashless. For example, I haven't had cash since 1999. I've been cashless. What are we talking? Uh, 21 years, give or take since I've even had cash myself. So, it's not a big deal. It's not a, a scary issue. It's not a concern. Actually, for me, it saved me a lot of money because I would always lose it out of those small pockets that a lot of pants have today. Getting back into the, you have the support multiple cross-chain digital currencies. XPOS is a digital currency neutral. It's absolutely neutral. So you can transact with your favorite coins or tokens like BTC, ETH, BNB, MPXS, etc. Now, what if that also had Ripple and Stellar, XRP, XLM? You can see instant transactions. The transactions happen instantly at less than 0.5 seconds. No delay, just pango. The reason I'm bringing this up is because corridors are expanding. Wallets are sending from person to person, people to people, people to business, if it has a wallet. But now the store, the regular, normal person who owns a business has to have that retail point of sale. If we're moving into blockchain, Pundi X has the world's first XPOS, and it is currency neutral. Why not have those on there? That's my thought, and that's my point. If you're going into XRP, which is the best digital asset for global payments, XRP offers financial institutions the fastest, most reliable option for sourcing liquidity on demand. It's ODL service. And again, though its design is for banking, there are still a lot of assets out there and a lot of people who are holding them, and they would love to be able to use them on that point of sale device. So again, if you're expanding corridors, why not expand it even into the retail businesses? That's all I want to share is a thought and a perspective. If we're doing it and focused on wallet to wallet, we're focused on bank to bank. Now, why not get the people to the retail stores the ability to be able to use it too? Because the person may want to use it, they have no way of making payment because at a retail store, you can't just send it to a wallet. There needs to be the proof of the purchase. And the XPOS is the perfect way to do it. And what if the owner of the business would love to receive, for example, Ripple or Stellar XRP or XLM, but he can't take it because there's no way of accepting it legitimately, legally for his business. So I think it would be a great asset for the guys at Ripple to be able to connect with the world's first blockchain retail payment system directly to the sellers and the buyers at the retail stores, like if you go to the mall or into another country. And there's already a big presence where we know Ripple is pushing in Africa and we know Pundi X has a big presence in Africa as well. So that's a thought I wanted to share with you guys. If you think that is something amazing and should be happening, share this video. Start tweeting that. Start trying to connect with that and make it happen. That's the world's first. It's currency neutral. But I think XRP should be on it. All right, guys. I want to leave you with a final thought. Every accomplishment starts with the decision to try. And remember, this is not financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. Much love, and we will catch you in the next one.